All right, at my parents' house, and this is the project for the year. This is their front yard, and today is the day that we're gonna start the kill process. So they've lived here for almost four years now, and ever since they moved in, I've had my eye on this, and it's finally time. And I wanna take you around the yard. It's been mowed in the last few days, so it's a little shorter than it was when I was here the other day, but I'll show you some footage I got to kind of explain why we're doing this and why you might want to do this if you ever run into similar issues. Here we go. So yards like this are one of those cute from far but far from cute kind of deals. Um, when you're far away from the yard and you're looking at it, especially after it's mowed, it looks really good. It looks clean. But when you're on top of it, this yard, a good majority of it is infested with what I think is Johnson grass. And it's all over the, the front part here. It grows taller, it spreads, it's nasty, it smells stinky when you mow it. And we just want to get rid of that. So the only way to really get rid of that stuff is glyphosate. So because it's throughout the majority of the yard and glyphosate's the only way to really get rid of it, we're gonna kill it all off and start over. And I'm really looking forward to what we're gonna plant when it's time to seed. So if you're not already subscribed and you wanna learn more about what I'm gonna do and what I'm gonna use, what seed we're gonna grow, please consider subscribing, follow along, and follow along with this whole process. Now when it comes to supplies, you're gonna need a dedicated sprayer that will never see any other product other than glyphosate ever again. That's just a two gallon pump sprayer. Um, I have my glyphosate. This is high yield glyphosate. It's 41%, very heavily concentrated, much better than what you're going to get off the shelf at your local hardware store. I've got some blue marking dye here so that I know where we've sprayed. Um, I've got personal protective equipment. I've got gloves. These are black diesel gloves. They're the best gloves you can ever get. Uh, they don't rip. That's the best part. I've got long pants. These are long sleeves here. I've got rubber boots and I've got a surfactant here and all of that is going to help us get the job done today. So this says to use two and a half ounces per gallon and that one gallon is going to cover 300 square feet. So we'll do that and then one ounce of blue dye per gallon which is like a cap full and then we should be good to go. So I'm going to get ready to spray. We'll get everything mixed up in the tank and we'll start the spray. So now the spring part is done, and from here we wait, and we'll see how well we did, and it'll probably take about seven days or so. So come back here next weekend and see what's still alive. We'll turn the sprinklers on for a good while and get it nice and soaked. Then anything that's still living will know we need to kill that too. Probably do at least one more spray just to make sure we get everything and go from there. You want to make sure if you're going to start over that everything, especially the stuff that made you want to kill it in the first place, is gone. Take your time, get it out, get it gone, and then plant the good stuff. And I look forward to planting the good stuff. So we'll come back in seven days and see how this goes and go from there. But that's going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Pretty easy. You just got to make sure you have enough a glyphosate product to get the job done we had to stop with about this much left to do to go get more but now we know we have enough for any future applications we need to do but what's a project without an extra trip to the local hardware store or the farm co-op so 
that'll go ahead and wrap it up for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Look forward to the rest of this project coming up really soon. I'll see you next time.